Ice baths, are they worth the hype? Now this is a fitness trend I actually personally don't mind. I actually quite like a lot of the talks around ice baths and what it does for you. And people love putting it on their social media. So I just wanna go through and look at the actual science of ice baths. How beneficial are they? What are the negatives? And I've got some really interesting data on how you can use them as well. And it's probably not what you think. Now interestingly with the ice baths, there's not a ton of high quality research which are done on it compared to things like nutrition and training. But what we do know from them is there is a range of benefits which it does come with. They include things like reduced swelling, it decreases recovery time, it also alleviates pain, so if you're getting a lot of noxies, are really good for that. It can reduce stress, it improves your sleep, it increases metabolism, and also you get a big dopamine hit when you actually do plunge into an ice bath. So there's actually quite a lot of benefits, and they're, they're not the only benefits that come with it, so there's actually quite a lot on that list too. Now it's arguable how much of a benefit these have, like is it 1%, 10%, how much does it reduce the swelling? But the short of it is that there's a lot of benefits which you would want within your training regime. The question is how impactful are they, and should you be adding it into what you're doing week to week? Now I'm going to go through some of the negatives that come with it too. So firstly, this isn't necessarily a negative, but it doesn't actually reduce inflammation, which is slightly different to swelling, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. So inflammation in short, where the body recognizes that there's an issue and it basically starts the healing process. This is something which you need within your training too. Now, some of the negatives with ice baths is that it does actually hinder muscle recovery. So what this means is when you do a big session, when you do a training session, one of the things that you do wanna do is have your muscles recovering as best as possible so you get the best adaptation. So effectively, what it does is it actually slows down adaptation. What this means is that if your goal is to put on muscle, ice baths may not be the best thing for you. But again, how impactful is this? Like, is it a big deal? Is it 1%? Does it even matter? You do get some other minor negatives with it, such as rashes and things like that. But overall, they're probably the biggest ones if you're worried mostly about training and recovery. They're probably the big ones. So what this means is if you're in a pre-season or in a heavy training phase, it may not be something to have regularly, especially straight after your training session. I will actually talk through when to do it because that's quite important as well. However, I'm sure you'd want the other benefits to come with it. So the question is, how do you then incorporate ice baths into your training? So there's some research from Dr. Andrew Huberman and he goes into when to use ice baths and how they're the most effective. And these finds are really interesting. So jumping into an ice bath actually increases your body temperature. So yes, it will cool you down in the short term, but your body is like a thermometer and will start to heat yourself up, bring blood back to the surface, and this actually will increase your body temperature, which is a good thing. You also get the adrenaline hit when you jump into an ice bath as well, which is actually great for the first thing in the morning too. So it gets your adrenal glands working and basically wakes you up naturally. It's one of the best ways to do that. So because we know ice baths actually hinder muscle recovery, that means that getting into one straight after a session isn't actually the best time to do it. Dr. Huberman goes into this, the best times to have an ice bath is first thing in the morning to wake yourself up naturally and about four to six hours after you train. So that way it doesn't hinder the recovery process. Another good time to do it is actually just before you train, which again is not what a lot of people do. Now they're the best times to do it if you're going for recovery. So overall, as you can see, there are pros and cons to doing ice baths. What we also know as well is more often does actually help. In terms of time in an ice bath, five to 15 minutes is as much as you need. You don't need to go any longer than that one. Once you start to shiver and feel really feel cold with an ice bath, you've actually got to that point of getting the best benefits of the ice bath and you then you can get out at that point. You don't need to go through the shivering pain and you know potentially freeze your body with that one. Once you hit that point, you're free to get out. Another belief is that you need to do a complete plunge. This is not true. You can get many of these benefits just by putting parts of your body into an ice bath, such as just your legs. Now, if you're an athlete watching this or you're just an absolute animal and wanna know when to use it, they are actually great and better served for fast turnaround events. So if you're doing an event and you've got another one in a couple of hours or that day, this is a great time to jump in straight afterwards because again, you're going to be able to reduce swelling within the body, cool your body down or then warm it up. It is faster for recovery in the short term and it's gonna give you a faster turnaround for those kind of events. So if you're doing two big events day after another or you're doing the same day turnaround, this is a good time to go straight in after your event. If you're in some kind of heavy load or training phase, first thing in the morning, just before you train or four to six hours after are the best times for you to still get those benefits without hindering the muscle recovery process. Overall, I love ice baths. I think they're great. I don't actually use them enough myself to be completely transparent, but the evidence so far shows that they're really beneficial for you and using them in the right way is how you're gonna get the best benefit out of them. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe down below as well for more videos like this one and follow me on Instagram as well for more. Happy plunging.